welcome to day 13 of our Lent series. Today is Monday of the second week of Lent. We've been reflecting on prayer. We saw what is prayer, why we should pray, and we would like to reflect on the types of prayer. Basically, we are going to reflect on three types of prayer. And today, we would like to start with vocal prayer. Vocal prayer is giving voice to what is stirring in our hearts and in our souls. It can be as simple and uplifting as thank you God for this beautiful morning. It can also be as formal as a mass celebrating a very special occasion. Given that it is external and so human, vocal prayer is a form of prayer most readily accessible to groups. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 2701, vocal prayer is an essential element of Christian life. To his disciples, drawn by their master's silent prayer, Jesus teaches a vocal prayer, the Lord's Prayer. He not only prayed aloud the liturgical prayers of the synagogue, but as the Gospels show, he raised his voice to express his personal prayer from exultant blessing of the Father to the agony of Gethsemane. We read Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, and also Mark chapter 14, verse 36. Vocal prayer can either be mental or with spoken words, or even more still, the Christian signs we make. Often we do prayer silently. That is still vocal prayer. The sign of the cross and the genuflection, though are prayers of action, are also vocal prayers, even though no word is spoken. Vocal prayer stems from the very fact of human nature. We are body and spirit, and we experience the need to translate our feelings externally. We must pray with our whole being to give all power possible to our supplication. Yet, as the Catechism of the Catholic Church number 2700 teaches us, it is important to note that what matters most is the heart. The heart should be present to him to whom we are speaking in prayer. Whether or not our prayer is heard depends not on the number of words, but on the fervor of our souls. Another thing to note is that the majority of the people know only this vocal form of prayer because we do it with our voices. Vocal prayer is wonderful and we need to practice it. However, it is not enough to nourish our soul. Most times, we like to speak to God through our vocal prayers, but we must also learn to speak with God. This implies not only speaking, but also listening. Sometimes, if we do not pay attention, we run the risk of saying prayers without actually praying. To learn to speak with God, we need to learn another form of prayer, which we call meditation. And this, we shall reflect on it in the coming series. May God help us 
so that as we raise our voices in prayer, we may understand that the heart also need to be raised to God because it is what matters most than our many words. I wish you a very prayerful Lenten season. Thank you very much and may God bless you.